What's going on guys? It's Eric here. Um, just wanted to make a little quick uh, recap video of today. I know a couple of you guys were asking for that, so I figured I'd make this here real quick, give you something to look at um, in your spare time, um, and hopefully this guy's will help you out as well too. Um, what's today? Today is March 25th. Yeah. Um, so it's Thursday. So yeah, I mean, as you guys know that are in the chat room, today wasn't really a stellar day. Um, today was actually more of a sit on your hands and kind of study type day if you, you know, were in the market. But um, obviously, like I say all the time, you know, every day isn't a day to trade. Um, you know, you don't want to force things that aren't there. Um, but the good thing about this recap I want to do here, um, even though the trades I took today were losing trades, um, I'm I'm glad at the way I executed them, especially on my exit. Uh, I didn't let my emotions take over. And I'll kind of go into that a little bit here with you guys um, to kind of help you out. I would be able to understand, you know, why with trading, you know, emotions can definitely, you know, play a factor on, you know, how you trade. Um, but keeping those things in check, it can save you a lot of money and a lot of headache. Even though the three trades I took today were, you know, weren't profitable like I was expecting, the fact that I stuck to my rules and didn't let my emotions get in, you know, in the way saved me a world of a headache and protected my pocket. <laughs> um, you know, substantially. My, my losses were very minimal, um, a lot smaller than what I expected, which was good because none of the plays I took turned out how I expected them to do. Um, so yeah, so what we'll do here is just kind of recap this a little bit for you guys, um, give you some, you know, hopefully some ideas on how to perfect your own trading strategy um, and, you know, help you become more profitable. So let's kind of get into it. I'm going to cover three different, um, three different alerts that happened today. So that way you guys can kind of get a a, a real feel idea. You can go back and look at the alerts and see, you know, which ones went off and, and all that good stuff and compare them to your own trades. Okay. Um, so let's kind of start here with APOP. 